we're going to do some trick problems. <laughs> uh, this is, let's see, we got 50y equals 14 minus 2 times the quantity negative 25y plus 7. Okay, so let's uh, distribute, combine like terms, etc., etc. Okay, we're going to have a plus 50y. Be sure to distribute that negative. Minus 14. Well, 14 minus 14, that's gone. It's zero. We get 50y equals 50y. Well, hmm. How about we subtract 50y from both sides? And we get 0 equals 0. So, what do we do if the variable disappears? Well, 0 equals 0 is always true. It's a true statement. Which means that no matter what y I put in, it will always be true. That means every y works. So, what do we put as our answer then? Well, you can put that symbol, which means all real numbers. And if you'd like to write it in fancy math notation, you'd go like this. The set of all y, such that y the symbol means element of, or belongs to, the real numbers. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's do another trick one. We've got z plus 1 over 2 equals 7 plus 2z all over 4. Well, we've got fractions. Let's wipe them out. Uh, our LCM of 2 and 4 is 4 because 2 actually goes into 4. Um, if you don't like that you can think of it as cross multiplying. So let's multiply both sides by 4 and things will cancel like we meant it to. This uh, 2 goes into 4 twice, 4 goes into 4 one time, so that's really actually just a 1. Don't even need to write that if you don't want to. And then we need to put an arrow here. distribute that 2 through. 2z plus 2 equals 7 plus 2z. Uh, well, let's get the z's on the same side. Subtract 2z, both sides, and they disappear. We get 2 equals 7. Well, when is that true? Uh, never? <laughs> well, not in this number system, anyway. If you go into abstract algebra, you'll learn, into, you'll learn other number systems where it might be true, but on this class. So what, is, what do we write for our solution? Um, you can write this. This is empty set. Another way to write that is you write the brackets with nothing in them. Or you can write out the words no solution.